Okay. Yeah. Hello, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Three Sixty Three with. That's your cue. Sackdoth. Oh, 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 oh! It's me, 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 Flores. Hi. <laughs> yes, I'm with Sackdoth and Flores. We're casting the two v two tournament for Zero K, and I'm gonna briefly go over the brackets because the game's actually started. So yeah, we have Iver King the Sponge, Magman Cubey, Flip Stiplery, Rice Check Schlemplot, and Google Fly Acronym versus Rymar Kane, which is the match we are watching right now, and Skin Yogstoth will be later. But right now we are watching this match because it's actually started, and now pause and unpause and whatever. We're going. So Aquanim, Northwest, Shieldbot Factory, Google Frog on the same side, Cloakybot, Kane going for jump bots, and Rymark on gunships. And it looks like they have paused. That's they what it unpause. is. Yeah, they said in the chat that um, Rymark said to, to go for poppies. Uh, from Kane, so we might see some poppy action, which are good against Glaives. Well, he's starting with, or they are starting out with Pyros, and then going mm. for puppies afterwards. It looks like Kane has not decided to cancel that initial Pyro for scouting, and then Rapier's coming in for gunships. That's interesting. Is that a new? <coughs> that's a new thing, I guess. Well, I know Sakhtas is doing that against you. Me, you can skirmish uh, Raiders quite easily with those. That's true, and those disruptor missiles are quite handy. It's just something that the metagame hadn't seemed to have adjusted for until pretty recently. Until I think this is the first thing I've actually seen where they've come up as an opener. Although you use them against me a couple. Like you see, Google Frog already made an AA bot before he's seen the. Well, that's team games. The the, the gunship. Yeah, Google Frog. So he anticipated has, some sort of error. Google Frog has made a gremlin, it's but air start is sorry. You were saying. No, no it it's taken a while for it always after a buff. It always takes a little while for things to work through the meta, and then someone discovers it. It's quote unquote. And this happens. Yeah, which is, of course, why everyone always suggests making small changes when doing patches. Because those sorts of things always happen. Yeah. But yeah, the Gremlin, that's just a safe choice. I mean, really, you're playing in a team game. Everyone uses air. Everyone knows everyone uses air starts in team games. So, well, that's what you're going to do. I mean. You're losing the Pyro in the middle, though, that hurt quite a bit. That's going to slow down their, their initial rush strategy, which is obviously Rapier Pyro. Yeah. Google Frog doesn't want to move forward and take the wreckage. He wants defenders first. Well, that's actually a little bit surprising. His, well, Google Frog is going for a Bombard Commander too. No clue on the upgrades, but or Siege Commander rather. No clue on the upgrades, but the the Commander probably unless it's set up with Shotgun and Ride Cannon. Which, I don't know if it would be. Wouldn't have an easy way of defending that. Although, admittedly, at this point, well, 88 Metal and Reclaim. That's definitely juicy. A little bit surprising not going for that one. However. I'm, expe I'm expecting a rocket commander myself yeah, to just do a mid push. On a siege commander, that would make total sense. I, I was about to say, but I didn't want to assume so much because, I mean, laser is just such a thing to do, and shock and oh cannon are also very popular nowadays. But that rapier, rapier going down, not even getting a chance to deal any damage. And the gremlins, proving their yeah, worth. Yeah, it was a waste. Total waste. But well, total waste for Rymark, unfortunately. And Rymark switching over, unsurprisingly, to brawlers. Well, Mass Puppy's coming in for Kane, and that will be going along the northeast side. But it runs into a dirt bag. It does run into a dirt bag to really no avail. Gonna hit that dirt bag. Oh no, it's not it being quite. No, it is. Oh no, hold fire on oh, that what one. What a waste again. That was unfortunate. I, yeah. I, I'm not sure Kane, Kane's good enough. I'm not sure he's 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 has the micro to to hold fire his puppies versus dirt bags, which is really hard. Yeah. Also, a racketeer is up. Especially, you can see. That, I mean, they've invested heavily into AA and. A racketeer is a form of AA, especially versus gunships. Oh, yeah. It's a very good uh, anti air for his gunship. Especially when brawlers are coming in, that's going to be shut down hard. And the thing is, with puppies, you're right, I mean, the whole fire thing, I mean, there's no hotkey on it for most people. I mean, you have to, you can set one, but by default, so that's even harder. So, yeah, I can totally understand why. Oh, boy. Oh, what a pause. Oh, phone call, okay. Like, that's, <laughs> we can still talk about the strategy. That is probably um, the It's case. really interesting. Yeah, so we have. It's really interesting with the. Um, Defender push through the middle because that's really puppies have a lot of trouble with that. Yeah, well we have. No, it's not even push. This is not a. This is just. Um, no, this is a hard securing. No, this is a hard push. Uh, he's I'd not say. moving forward. He's still on his own side of the map. I'd call this a hard um, push. I mean, this is going to be. This is just leapfrogging defenders. It's not five defenders per line, but it's a fairly economical set of defenders. It's enough that puppies will be blocked off, and it's leapfrogging so the defenders are pretty close to defending each other. Not quite. But you get past one and then you get to the next set. So Google Frog's still making it very hard to push through. While Kane, I don't know if Kane's going to try. Kane had a really good idea going to the north side. I think Kane should really stick with that. I mean, yeah, okay. They spotted it the first time. 
but they're just gonna assume that Kane is not gonna go for it. It'd be a nice it's a little double back. On the left for I mark. It's uh Stardust versus Raiders. Well He just lost three lives to it. Yeah, I mean Stardust will of course win that. However, Aquanim might just throw down Racketeer. Oh yeah, Aquanim's gonna throw down Racketeer down there and stop that Stardust completely with the defender as well. That is awesome. If you have some Raiders and you have one Racketeer to back it up, you can uh, take these oh, kind of turrets there it out goes. instantly. Six seconds disarm and coming in on the follow up is I no Gulfrog's not gonna get the follow up. Two, one, it's, and oh, -ta 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 -ta. down go the Glaze. Oh, the second Raider shot does save the day. However, Rhymer's Commander back up, but that won't be enough. That Stardust is going down. So is Rhymer's Commander from the looks of it. Rhymer's Commander, yep, Stardust goes down, Rhymer's Commander follows soon after. Then the map, nothing's really the battle changed though, is, but... A Battle Commander is really, really strong with the rocket, but it's not good against Raiders, which is why he put up the Stardust. But having the Stardust disabled, just, you know, that shut, that, it means he dies yeah, really, really easily. Nothing there. Would have been almost better to go heavy machine gun. Especially an Avalanche. Although, admittedly, you can't easily switch your commanders up, or switch your commanders' modules out that easily, but still. The rocket is really strong for hard pushing into enemy defenses, and that's yeah. why you use it and, as a siege assault yeah. weapon. And I mean, given that Rymark and Kane were planning on playing the aggressive play, and it just didn't work out due to the lack of the pyro early on, I can see why they went for that. It's just unfortunate that that didn't work out ultimately. There's a pyro in the back there and chased around by dirtbags. Well, let's see, the brawler's chasing on the dirtbag uh. around here, and oh, yeah, pyro right in the back. Totally missed that. Oops. Didn't seem to do too much though. Got a bit of melee strike oh, on the but... it, on the left. Now we have a brawler attacking the commander. Oh yes, Aquanim's commander is not doing well either. The center of the map is still pretty much unchanged, and that brawler will take the kill. Aquanim, no. Oh, what? It got disabled. Oh yes, so it did. Okay, Disarm. totally Racketeer. missed that. I was Just, thinking uh... Aquanim's kind of being foolish to dig themselves into a hole, but digging their own grave there. But it turns out that they were in fact just fine. Brawler has to move back, although it looks like. There are no gremlins nearby, nothing to stop it, so Rymark gets to let that one live. Still, Google Frog and Aquanim with nice map control. No one's taking the north, though. I mean, Kane started to take it a bit, and it looks like Aquanim's double-checking that no one's taking it, but at this point, that north is basically untouched. I think Rymark could probably use it the most, especially the energy reclaim. Mm. It's much less important, though, than the south, because it only has two maxes, and he has exactly half of those mixes up there now, so that's he needs to contest the, the bottom side. That's true. Brawler are coming back in. And that... Well, the contest isn't really the word I'd use here. At this point, I think surrender is the only applicable term. <laughs> yeah, that are too many puppies. Those are not meant for uh, no, long-term fighting. No, they are five they minutes too late. They, the they attrition really game. I mean, the problem is... With long-range units. Well, it's not just the attrition game. It doesn't work. It's that... I mean, puppies are fine in the attrition game if the reclaim is on your side of the field. If it's in your territory, they're great. But if not, you can't make the comeback off of mass puppies for free. You're just... Uh, you, 50 metal you have to, you, the best you can do is trade equally and uh, get a bit out of it. Yeah, so... Instead of uh, having units micro them and get an advantage slowly that way. Yeah. More puppies being lost to cloggers in the top, which is to dirt bags, which is a bit of a shame. Well, yeah, those dirt bags are just there to block off incoming puppies, which they're doing a fine job of, even though I'm missing that, but still. Problems. And with the melee attack, even if they don't, if they're on hold fire, the dirt bags can still kill them. Yeah. I would like it to see those moderators be used as skirmishes. Well, let's see. The moderators would help with the dirt bags somewhat. They would definitely help with incoming outlaws and No, thugs. I mean to just attack. Uh, attack the defenders, attack the commander. Uh, oh, you can why? actually you can bait out the defenders. You know that, right? With the nano uh, bait. You you mean with the nano tower the or nano frame? Yeah, you just put down any type of construction on repeat on your commander, yeah. and you disable the entire defender line. That you need to bring a command, that's actually something I've a never encountered them. before. But that's a really good point. It's a good thing to see. I don't know. If we'll yeah, see no, it, it's in higher level games. Um, Google Frog and I used to do this to each other all the time. You know, just blocking shots with um, Rocco shots in particular with Nano Frank. Yeah, that's a really good point. Although Pyros are ooh, attacking the north. Actually, Kane and Rhyme are trying to assault pretty heavily to the north. I They might want to uh, repair that uh, <laughs> brawl now. He doesn't know where the AA uh, bots are. No. What are they called nowadays? Uh, admittedly, Gremlins. there aren't many. The moderators the moderators in the middle just walked in and got no, rid of the No, that's not the way to do it. No, no, no. no. It's, yeah, <laughs> like we were saying, Nano Frame spam. 
to stop the defenders. Because, yeah, the monitors walking in are going to go down. Those There are enough defenders to stop that. However, we are getting a counterattack along the south side, and I think Goofrog is just trying to finish this. Brawler's going to try to help out, but where are those gremlins? I don't see them. There are a couple sides. Yeah, they were in the center. Waiting, but... They're over here. Uh, I don't think you've. Um, oh, yeah, they're working back. Mark's on, right? They're working back to defend There's with the Pyros. The Pyros, the pyros the are attacking alone. The Brawler having gone to the bottom. The Pyros at the top dealing quite a bit of damage to this energy economy. Nah, this but... is not worth it. Yeah, the five Pyros, I think two would have been more than enough. Even two is a little bit excessive, but at least that would have. When you're behind uh, this far in army and in income, you cannot I think, afford to throw away your I army. Think Kane you cannot was going rebuild. for the production gambit. I think he's trying to kill off the Shieldblood factory. And just completely stem the uh, even tide. If you, even if you would have gotten all the solo collectors, the factory, and all the units standing there, it would still have been an, a bad trade. Yeah. I guess, well, I'm just thinking in terms of giving them a bit of breathing room. Maybe not a good trade, but at least opening up a bit of room no. so they could at least get a unit advantage. Aquanim is living up to his name and just sitting underwater, hiding from those brawlers along the bottom. <laughs> certainly is, but it's worked out. I mean, Aquinas Commander is fully healed up at this point, and those brawlers are not going to be able to yeah, do much to it. He's uh, providing a, a good 4 metal per second there. That's uh, very handy. Yeah, when you're considering 2v2, <laughs> especially gets 10 metal total. That's that's half of their economy is right down in that pit of water there, so I can totally understand Aquinas' feelings. Admittedly, I think the, the Racketeer went down, which will really help those brawlers. The funny thing is, if I look at the uh, team incomes, 17 versus 18 income. It is, but... Kane's actually got the majority of that income. Mostly thanks to that ex expansion to the north. And the southwest is just hard for anyone to take. So much juicy reclaim here. I mean, how much reclaim? There has got to be... Let's see. There is a grand total of 1160 metal and reclaim in that south little valley. Which... It, and now there's enough AA to send down a constructor to be safe from the brawler. Yeah, with all the gremlins. There's four gremlins so far. The south, the defenders over here, and... What are the Scythe's oh vandals? In. Yes, vandals. Well, five vandals. Scythe's coming oh. into the base. That's dangerous when a brawler is overhead. Yeah, scythes are coming in, waiting for these guys to finally develop. But there they go. Three brawlers and, now. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's that is helping. And those sides did not really do much. But well, there's a wall of Zeus's here. Yeah. Okay, that's what's gonna win it. I mean, those sides are mostly a distraction, I think, because wind generators. Okay, that's that is meaningful, but. Compared to their size, it's going to be the Zeus is coming in. I mean, come to think of it, what vision? Oh, they have vision. They know it's coming in, but they didn't see it. And Scuttle Ouch. did not do its job completely. Nor missed. did the moderators. The moderators got completely cleaned up, which moderators are the counter in the factory to Zeus. They don't have anything else. Yeah, which unfortunately that. Well, the waste of the moderator they got it. earlier. I mean, given how expensive kite. they are. Really and not. There are a few and they didn't cut. They got actually killed by the Zeus's, two or three of them. Uh, they weren't moving back when they, uh, the Zeus's uh, approached. No, they weren't, but that is... Well, that's something, something you really just get on Fight Command, really. That's the thing. And Puppy's coming in to try to f clear the line, but I don't uh. see this. Nope. And no, it's not happening. Brawler's kind of helping, but not, unfortunately, enough damage to deal with the Zeus's in time. Zeus is going to just tank it and look at you with a stern look in their face of disapproval. The commander goes down really easily. GG, guys. That Oh, that's game? Oh, no, it's not quite game. I think Rymark looks like they're going to surrender, but yeah, Rymark is... Okay, Rymark's calling Rymark the vote, is, uh, is, uh, and that is... That's going to be game one of two, which reminds me, I need to turn my win counter. Sorry, guys. I know, I know, I said I would have a win counter in the player list, but I got distracted building a resource bar, which hopefully will be... At least some use, but for the moment we are going to have to work with. Oh. But there already is a witch, and that does that. At least I remember XTA having one that years ago. Win counter. I mean, uh, a witch that tells you the wind output at any current time. No, 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 no. Wins, as in the number of times a round has been won. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I heard thought you said wind. No, 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 no. Wind, wind does it. Well, I don't know if it, how much it exists, but yeah. So that is game one of Google Frog Aquadim versus Rymar Kane going to Google Frog and Aquadim. So game two, let's see how that goes. I don't, or wait, was that game one or game two? That was game, was game one. one. Okay, good. Because we did. It was an interesting match. We I did think. jump in late, so we wanted to be sure. You had a very sort of cheesy opening by. Um, Keen and Rymark, where they were clearly going for like a, a pirate or early harass, and they had a lot of puppies to sort of slam down the middle and break something. But um, 
Google and Acronym just went for a very standard sort of cloak bot, um, shield bot, slow push down the middle, lots of defenders, lots of very flex safe, AA. Yeah. They use both defenders and they use the racket, early racketeer, which was very smart, which is both flex AA, so that if the enemy switches out of making lots of gunships, um, they, they, it can still hit land. It yeah. wasn't even all flex AA. The early uh, gremlin was hard AA. Well, it was, but that was yeah, well, that was a good read. And the thing is, is that yeah. in a two v two game, I mean, I know it's sort of a bit of a joke, but air starts, air starts happen. An early gremlin, especially when you're on a team, like Google Frog has the micro potential to recover if they needed to go for. Or sorry, it was acronym. No, it was Google Frog. Google Frog has the micro power to recover from that if they need to un- have a smaller army of glaives. Like, they'd be able to make that work. So they can get away with that gremlin that's two glaives. But I think that if you think it. about it, what what is your early scouting force? Often you make the first thing you make at a factory is two glaives. You send them to scout, they both die. A gremlin goes in there, sits in their base, has complete knowledge, you get to scout the factories. It's not that much slower. Oh yeah, it's the scouting totally thing, that, that is true. Yeah. yeah right. It, 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 it is almost it's not flex AA completely, but it has what what we term secondary utility. Well yeah, I mean there's where, the options you know, like that. You have you're right. You have the AA if you need it, and you have the scouting if you don't. And which is, is what awesome. you do. Make the first unit you make is a scout anyway. It's always a scout. You need to know what the enemy factories are. So making a gremlin is actually a really sound choice, even if the enemy has no air. In a two, well, yeah, because you have in one v one too. Although in, in a, a two v two, in yeah. a two v two, definitely in a one v one, it's a really risky strategy that I think could work if you're doing on a map that's easier to defend. So you build a lotus to basically deal with the early raiders, and you're just playing the defense game trying to figure out what they're up to in order to have the perfect information. Search. Yeah, it, it's viable. I think you can do it in one versus one, but uh, especially if you're going to suicide a raider in, if you expect the enemy to, if you know the enemy always builds defenses early on, you're going to suicide in to see what factory he has or something like this. You know, it's only two glaives, uh, a gremlin, and then you have complete knowledge if everything comes out of his factory for the rest of the time. So if you're expecting any kind of, you know, if you ex- if, if you think there's even a chance of air, it's not a bad opening. So it's, it's sort of a it's a bit of blind rock paper scissors sort of thing, but well, it's a it's 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 a gambit. It can be done. I mean, it's it's a blind rock paper scissors gambit. for the purpose of either stopping an air start, which is fairly strong, or getting the information to never have to make another blind RPS choice again. Exactly. Yeah. No. It's so it's, I, it's, totally I think it's a, it's 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 a reasonable choice. It's not it's not just a good read. It's a calculated move. Yeah. Yeah. I I've got to be honest. My my terminology is going to be peppered with fighting game vocabulary partly because of Evo from a month ago and partly because I just came back from a Skullgirls Locals so I'm kind of in that mood so yeah, it's, yeah. you'll notice that I use terms that aren't quite common in RTS games but frankly I think our program for 0k yeah. Oh, okay yeah I, I, I think the pace of 0k really does the pace of 0k and the amount of information does allow for the same sort of psychological play that you see in fighting games which is really we have I never really got into them Hmm? Never really have, was interested. The, the game's starting up yep, now. The game is the, starting, is so we have Rymark. Okay, Kane over Water? in Southeast going for Hover Factory. Rymark going for. This is Inkolta Wet, by the way. Rymark going for the North Shipyard. Aquanim going on the so- Northwest side with Hovercraft Factory and Google Frog also with Shipyard and the Southwest. And this is Inkolta Wet, and I've heard the sound on. But yeah, Inkolta Wet is. If you guys saw. I think it was last Saturday, I showed Google Frog and Sackdoth playing on this map, playing ships, which is a half-hour epic game. One of the best games I've seen in a long time. At least one of the most <laughs> interesting. Was, I mean, it was hard to follow, granted, because of the fact that there were four factories per side, but... And also, C is rather novel. So, there will be more detail about C here, like what Skeeters are and why they're so important, and why Disarm and Slow are such important mechanics, and the fact that I'm going to Is your stream running, down. or is it me? I only see your. Uh... The stream is running. People in it, chat. It might be a bit check. behind. The, okay, sorry, it's, this, it's, it's there a is a delay for the purpose of yeah. making sure that no one is cheating, which I doubt anyone oh, would. Okay. But cool. just in case, I there is saw a the, time. Uh... Cool. Rymark started out with a um, really early Ooh. typhoon. And no, no oh, spraying. Oh, 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 sorry, which is a riot oh. unit. There is. Wow! A thunderstorm yeah, thunderstorm coming. Typhoon's actually good. <laughs> That's a great choice. Because you know, against those early daggers, I don't want to say glaives, against the early daggers, that's going to help out a lot in just keeping their numbers down. Although, admittedly, at this point, Kane is doing the better job with their own daggers. I can imagine to get some in. Well, no, sorry, I had to retreat. So, Kane actually managed to get some in. And Google Frog going for the fence with the Skeeters, which. 
I don't know. They re you really took the initiative now, uh, Kane. Yeah, Kane. They're moving forward and they forced uh, Equinum and Google Frog to move back, and that gives them the opportunity to send their constructor out and get um, some more maxes. And no surprise. However, they do allow Google Frog to move out with uh, his constructor. They're not scouting for boats, for your construction boats. No, along the south they side. They are all focused at this one location. Yeah, and the thing is, I mean, that's uh, going to be hard. Is coming. No, this time. is a waste. No, this this, waste. Oh, no. What, no. Yeah, you're right. This is totally because and that, that's why I meant the Typhoon is such a good choice. I mean, it's getting disarmed now, but there's urchins in there, and the Typhoon's going to get undisarmed soon. No, no, it's not going to die soon enough. But. If I may ask, how did it get disarmed? Oh, the Skeeters. Uh, the Skeeters. Skeeters have, they're actually sort of anti-heavy, and if you can get it off them together, they're actually amazing. Even though they're 75, they're about the power of a, of a, of a dart. They're really, really weak. But if you get a lot of them together, you can instantly stun a target, a very large target, or dis disarm rather. And that includes making them really, really good against urchins yeah, and you against sorry. units that quote unquote counter yeah, them, such as riots. The game that Sacktoth and Google Frog played was basically won by, I think it was Sacktoth massing. I won, yeah. yeah. Sacktoth mass Skeeters and got rid of all of Google Frog's missile frigates just by disarming them and then tearing them apart with underwater units. If I recall correctly. So they scale pretty well now. Oh yeah. You can use them to to overrun riots and Yeah, this is this is still Rymark's project, right? Like this is the result of Rymark's attempts to balance C. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, also snakes. This have is all a bit new torpedoes. for me. I, I apologize if I don't That's fine, it's new for a lot of people. We're like I said, we're going over it. So yeah, snakes have slow torpedoes now as well. Which I quite like. But the I really like the static. The, um, daggers can hit them. Yes, Under, that's from, true. They have underwater weapons, so... Yeah, Gauss now fires They're the only way to... Them and ducks. Actually, the only way that they can't hit underwater is a skeeter. Which... Again, here, Google Frog is still expanding, and yeah, that, Kane is not looking for uh, construction boats. That whole south side is not doing particularly well for Kane and Reimark, although it looks like Kane is starting to get a little bit wise to that. They can't see it. In fact, Reimark and Kane have no radar whatsoever. Google Frog and Aquanim do. I'm not sure about Sonar, though. I can't really see it on the minimap, unfortunately. But I don't think the south side has been explored yet for Kane and Rymark. They don't seem to have it. They aren't indicating that they actually have that knowledge. Although Rymark is trying to do what they can to keep those Skeeters honest, if nothing else. Just keep them... I mean, keep Google Frog from getting around with that. But oh. really not keeping Google Frog honest overall, because that south expansion, that is... Google Frog's getting away with murder there at this point. Mm -hmm. Google's well, really in trouble at the moment, actually, because his Skeeters... There is a snake there, and the Skeeters cannot, be, cannot even hit the snake. Which means that um, Kane's ah, there snake was anymore. There was, a snake. Snake. there was a snake, operative word. But yeah, yeah that's exactly. But that gave him an opening to take out these metal extractors. Yeah, well, like that's yeah, what I mean. Not keeping it honest. Although, yeah, <laughs> if now you trade a metal extractor for a snake. That's now great. spotted it. But yeah, like I said. <laughs> oh, that, there are only two hundred and ten metal. Oh, I'm so sorry. The snake is not six hundred anymore. No, no. Yeah, no, they're much cheaper. cheaper. They're raiders now. I mean, snake and Skeeter and Duck oh, and a lot of stuff on C got cheaper. It seems like that was Rymark's big thing. Was basically Let's not make C this massively expensive monolith unit based game. Let's actually make it integrate. I think the rest that's the a game. good uh, starting point. That's uh, for for uh, the water game. I, mean, I don't know if that's actually his thinking, but that seems like it, judging by the results. And Typhoon out for Google Frog wants to get rid of all these daggers, and I think they're going to succeed actually. Although it depends on how these snakes are positioned, but the snakes are going a bit too far he north, has... and that Typhoon. Is it even going to go for raiding? It's definitely going for defense. It's going to stop any incoming raids. So this expansion getting consolidated oh. nicely. Still could be broken Google, down, though. Google Frog does not have sufficient anti-sub. He has this single hunter, and that's the only thing he has to take out the snakes. Yeah, and that's the thing. That and the daggers are going into it. Not we'll totally that, consolidated. Those snakes. But Is that uh, uh, hunter shooting the the, the hovercraft? Yep. Yeah. Torpedoes okay. hovercraft now. Yeah, that's the other change. So basically, there's not much separation between underwater and on water, except in a few cases, rather than the other way around. So can daggers hit submarines? Yes. Yep. The um, submarine subs are coming down now. If he can take out that urchin, the subs will have free reign in the base. Well, but yeah, because there's one urchin. He's swinging the around. Urchin? I think he's retreating. Oh sure. wow! Google Frog is not stalling, but I guess prioritizing differently. Looks like. Well, let's see. Uh, he could use some no, more really. build power, that's for sure. Certainly could. And he could throw down uh, one more around Nano. I throw down a couple Easily. of versions, too. That Typhoon is... It's scaring the daggers away, but Rymark not moving with her subs. In fact, moving away, 
Keeping the subs out of danger? What in the world? I don't know there. That's that's not making much sense to me. But daggers do not have uh, sonar. They don't, but at this point, oh, I think that Google Frog... Well, actually, yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I suppose Reinhardt might be worried about sub there, but at this point, Google Frog is a lot of anti-sub. Kind of lost that time. Daggers do have a little bit of sonar. They do? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't uh, really I wish I could uh, say more useful stuff. <laughs> it's okay. It's it's all very new. I mean, the game that Shadow Viewer talked about is this epic game. Both of us, the game swung back and forth, and that's what made it epic because neither of us had any idea what we were doing. <laughs> and they basically used <laughs> and every lost... factory. I th they used air. Yeah. Google Frog went for all C factories plus air, and Sactos is just all C factories. And it was it's a really good raid with with um, submarines along the north right now, and yep. it's supported by these daggers, which seems to be their strategy, which is really pretty strong. It has been because I mean, those typhoons. I'm a bit surprised they haven't gone in. Google Frog has a bunch of type oh a bunch of mariners now, not even going for typhoons yet. Just trying to expand along the south side, build up static defense from the looks of it. But leaving Aquanim to take the brunt of the damage, and this is potentially very devastating for the team as a whole. I, the one thing I'm worried about is that Google Frog is the one that's in a better position to build up raiders. Like Aquanim could get maces, but for the sheer number of units, especially with the snakes. Typhoons now the thing is, hunters. Google Frog has constructors, many of them, so he can reclaim, 20, he can right rebuild, now. he can... That's true. I think Google Frog's probably going to go for that and then push into build power. And holy crap, build power, yes. 65 build power right in their main base, though. Okay, never mind. 15 minutes moving away, but still. 50 build power in their main base. Switching over, and I think they're going to go to Crusaders at this point. Crusaders possibly... Sh possibly go for Serpents, but probably Crusaders, maybe Enforcers, and then try to just deal with the entire length of this subgroup like deal with all of it which just it looks like they're, st they're still spamming subs both of them both it's still in the sort of it's it google frogs realized his skid aren't going to work and he's gone up to subs now so it's now subs versus daggers yeah, but, on both fronts oh yeah there you're right there are, there are four subs coming in here however it's going to come to positioning rymark's way out of position still trying to go for this raid can't safely move out will probably lose a sub if they try to move out but they're going to lose a lot more if they stay in well, Google Frog taking the center, or at least keeping it under pressure. I used to know, oh, yeah, uh, just my painting map the entire map down. With, I know. Uh, Should I go back here? It's just, I'm worried about the glare. That's the only thing, but maybe I'll do this. Okay. Map is right side up. I apologize to people watching the stream that the map has just gone right <laughs> side up, and there's a bit of glare on the northeast side. I'm aware of that. That's why I turned the map around in the first place. I have no idea what you you're talking about. You can change the water type if you like. I could, but the map is so pretty. Anyway, I'm also looking from above, so it's actually a bit easier to see underwater. However, Rymark has a couple of uh, idle subs now. There are, and Snake's going down. Rymark going down to the south side of the map. And yes, the south side, which is where the expansion was, for those disoriented by my recent switching of the map. This is where Google Frog's big, big sneaky expansion that happened early on is there. And there's a lot of anti-sub. These Snake's going down. Rymark losing their sub advantage. At this point, I, oh wait. Well, Kane hasn't made anything but... Uh, daggers up to now. Okay, Rymark not losing their sub advantage, just the positioning. Rymark actually has. Whoa, Rymark has all the subs. Google Frog has. Lots of them are idle. They are, but Google Frog only has like one. Rymark has 20. Uh, Rymark, that doesn't matter, they're not doing much they anyway. They aren't, but Rymark, as soon as he realizes, hey, wait a sec, I've got two dozen subs. We might see something happen here, but at this point, Google Frog just taking no, the center it, of the map. It's, it's not about having two dozen subs. It, it's about having them either together or with a, another army, and they're spread out all over the maps. Some of them cannot even reach each other. Yeah, but still, um, it's like Google Frog has it has this. If you look at how know, Google strong Frog has of a so much map he has, control, uh, has converted basically that entire sneaky expansion into how many mariners do they even have? Like twenty nine mariners in total on the map. I'm not sure how many of those are Google Frogs. I think if. I do this, I can see that there are 23 that are Google Frogs. Wow. Okay, so Google Frog is basically set. Like They have all the build power oh, they I need. I see uh, something I don't... What is this? And Claymore. Google what is Claymore? Oh, that is... That's new hovercraft. Depth charge hovercraft. And they, <laughs> they blew up <laughs> all of those submarines in, uh, in one go. Yeah. Oh, right. Along the north. Uh, yeah, in the... In the the submarines in the back, yeah. But he switched to Google Frog switched to um, typhoons now because the subs were having a really hard time versus the daggers. But the typhoons are now being engaged by the snakes, which means he's losing, he's losing army. But he has so much of the map because he's playing it like Comet Catcher. He's just like claiming everything. And it's working out really well too because at this point, I mean, seven times production speed going to Air Factory as well. But seven times production speed on Shipyard is really handy once you get to the costlier stuff. 
Because, I mean, Shipyard... Shipyard is a pretty costly factory. I mean, once you get past the Raider stage, it's just... You're spending 20, 30 seconds on any given unit at the default time. Possibly longer. A whole minute for a lot of them. You can, you can see why Mark switched into Crusaders because there's so much like defense put down the middle that he switched into Crusaders, which have anti-sub capacity and they can take out these urchins. I'm actually a bit surprised that Rymark was the first to go for Crusade, Mass Crusaders. I expected Google Frog would do that, just given the sheer amount of snakes that Rymark's been throwing out there. But yeah, given the, map, the center map defenses, I think uh, Google Frog wants to Matt play with turrets. He's not interested <laughs> in making a. No, he a just wants. Big army. They just want their urchins, and that's about 50 urchins for Google Frog. The rest for Rymark, but so many urchins for Google Frog. And the Crusaders will do a wonderful job against that, too. And the Mariners this as is well, the, if they could hit. If your opponent is putting so much uh, resources in statics, you focus everything you have on the location that doesn't have statics, which is, yeah. Which is Aquanim. And Aquanim has yeah, been taking uh, the run of this so far, although Aquanim has quite a few as well. But yeah. Google Frog has done Now we can see uh, instant turret uh, construction. From Google Frog, he, he yeah. switched into Ravens to try and finish it out. But there is going to be. He thinks he has the economic advantage. Well, when, well, where's the shredder? That's what I want to know. And the answer. So we've got a mini Raven in the Enforcer now. We do, but there's a bunch of shredders being built up by Rymark. Rymark doesn't have quite the build power to really push that forward as quickly as necessary, but they might be able to have enough time, uh, especially uh, taking out the center as they are. They're not communicating, also. Um, no one's communicating. Rymark. Okay, they're not. Coordinating their strikes with the submarines and the hovercraft. No. Oh wow, Aquanim with that claymore. Those snakes are not doing as well as I'm sure they'd like to. Although the claymore does go down ultimately, but still doing its job. And that entire snake battle group to the north going down. Crusaders and the enforcers doing a decent job taking out the defenses, but still they are taking the longest, grindiest road with the ravens on their tail. That's not working out too well, especially the enforcers trying to. Wasting their shots on the Ravens, that's the problem there. And one Crusader goes down, and an Enforcer goes down on top of that. Oh my goodness, that... Well, that you was... The, the Shredders, impressive. and you can see how you can see how fast the Shredders rip apart bombers, but um, they were a little bit too late. They were, unfortunately. That, that retreat needed to happen about five seconds earlier. But really, that would have been just a guess at that point. Because at this point... Google's going to win on brute force economy yeah, at this point. Rymark and Kane don't even know the extent of Google Frog's defenses at this point. They have no clue. Or if they do, it's historical information, which is still kind of out of date. I think they can make a good guess, given the uh, speed at which he's uh, turning out armies. No, Rymark just thinks they've lost this. Which is not an unfair statement, though admittedly a little bit bleak. Yeah, well, I think it's... It's Google Frog's macro play. It was actually, it was really even, and I think that by Kane switching into subs and um, hovercraft and daggers early on, and just just doing that, uh, it was a, it was the better play, and it actually did sort of force Google's um, skeeters back. But um, he just kept expanding these constructors. Yeah, and I mean, that's Kane what... really had something to prove, though, given the last game, and I'd say that they did. I mean, they didn't win, but I'd say that Kane did prove that they do have tactical sense. I think they... I mean, Kane actually I'm a bit surprised. Oh, okay, right, because his team. I was thinking, Kane's like a 1650 LO 1v1 player. He's he's up and coming. So, I was a bit surprised his LO's related, it showed him quite lower, but yeah. He's actually quite good. He's mid-range at the moment, but he is getting up there. So, I... Yeah, he's... He clearly he knows how to play um, daggers. It's just something I struggle with myself. I mean, I don't play daggers enough. They have a very specific style. That you need to use yeah, them. Yeah, it was more that last game where the pyro messed up and the puppies messed up afterwards. But yeah, it's he is he is a good player. Like don't don't get it wrong. Kane is not a bad player. It's just Google Frog is I think top four or number four at this point or something like that. So it's yeah yeah lack of macro a little lopsided experience with big games on uh, with the other three players that. Google's a Google's an old school player. You know, he he's he's played so many different scenarios, and his macro is really good. And he, he knows how and when to expand and what what to exploit. And even if there's players who are who are better than him and faster than than him, and uh, he's he's he can just take the whole map like this because he's played yeah. like common capture and stuff and back in the day. That so, knowing you know, how to get the build power so you can get the response. Because like, if you don't have the ability to get the response in time, you're kind of screwed. Like yep. 0k more than any other TA variant or TA based game is just you have to have you have to be able to just 
go, oh, hey, they're doing this. I got to respond. Oh, hey, they're pushing here. I got to respond. It's like, you, you can see a wall of mariners coming in now and just reclaiming all the... All the yeah, over the that's been going yeah. on for quite a while. Oh, yeah, those mariners uh, yep. have just been hanging around everywhere. That's Google Frogs. I think all of Google Frogs' metal is in the mariners. Over to the south, over to the north. Yeah, that's game. That is match. Google Frog Acronym move on to the semifinals. So that is not quite reported yet. I don't know what the other games are up to at this point. I don't know if they're waiting for us, actually. In fact, I think they are. I don't think at the at the first level they should be waiting. I mean, there's a lot of games to cast, isn't it? There are. There's I, another one going. I kind of hope they are playing in parallel. Look, yeah, they are. They are playing in parallel. We're good. 